Welcome to our movie review with Father Joseph. I'm Father Joseph McShane, the Associate Pastor at St. Louis de Marillac Parish. In light of the feast day of Our Lady of Fatima, which is on May the 13th, we're going to be looking at the movie today, The Miracle of Our Lady of Fatima, which is a Warner Color feature film made in 1952. It was promoted as a fact-based treatment of the events surrounding the apparitions of Our Lady of Fatima in Portugal in 1917. It stars Susan Whitney as Lucia de Santos, Sherry Jackson as Jacinta Marto, and Sammy Ogg as Francisco Marto, with Gilbert Rowland as a fictional character named Uncle Hugo, a kindly but agnostic friend of the three children, who rediscovered his faith in, in God through the miracle of the sun. The film was directed by John Brahm, the, the musical score by Max Steiner, received an Academy Award nomination. The Miracle of Our Lady of Fatima was originally released on August 20th, 1952. It begins by setting the historical tone of political upheaval in Portugal in 1917, with the overthrowing of the monarchy by the anti-church socialist Freemasons who closed churches throughout the country and persecuted priests and religious. During this difficult time, the Portuguese clung to their faith. The first apparition is recounted when Our Lady appeared to Luc Lucia Santos and her two cousins, Francesco and Jacinta Marto, while they were praying the rosary as they tended their sheep in the Cova de Iria. Our Lady assures the children that she will not harm them and that she is from heaven. Francesco initially did not see Our Lady and Our Lady told Lucia, have him pray the rosary and then he will see me. And when he prayed the rosary, he then, he then saw the Virgin Mary. Our Lady asked the children to come to the same spot on the 13th day for six months from May to October. Lucia asked Our Lady if she and Jacinta will go to heaven. Our Lady said yes. And then she asked regarding Francisco. Our Lady said, yes, he will go to heaven, but he will have to say many rosaries first. Our Lady asked them to offer themselves to God to help atone for sin, for he is much offended, and as for the conversion of sinners. Our Lady told the children they would suffer. She also said, pray the rosary every day to obtain peace for the world and an end to the war. At that time it was World War I, and Portugal was involved in this conflict with troops sent to fight. The second apparition happened on June 13th, the feast of Aunt St. Anthony. Our Lady said, Jesus wishes to use you to make me known and loved. He wishes to establish in the world devotion to my Immaculate Heart. Lucia asked when they will go to heaven. Our Lady responded, I will take Francesco and Jacinto soon to heaven, but you must remain some time longer. Francesco died April 14th, 1919. Jacinta died February 20th, 1920. Our Lady reassures Lucia in her sadness that though her cousins will leave her, Our Lady will remain with her always. She said, I will never forsake you. My Immaculate Heart will be your refuge and the road that will lead you to God. When the parents bring the children to the priest for questioning, the priest believes that what the children may be seeing at the, at the, at the COVID area may be actually from the devil. This causes Lucia to have great sorrow and she ends up going to her mother's bed for solace. And the lighting is very beautiful in this scene as she passes from room to room holding a candle. In the July apparitions, Our Lady asks for prayers for the conversion of sinners. If people do not cease to offend God, she said, another and worse war will break out. And this was referring to World War II. Our Lady tells Lucia, when you see a strange light shining in the sky, know that this is the sign God is about to punish the world for its, world for its crimes. <clears throat> Our Lady also told Lucia that great evil will come out of Russia, which was communism, as it schemes to destroy the peace of the earth. She said, as for the consecration of Russia to her Immaculate Heart, if not, there will be wars and persecutions of the church. People must amend their lives, she said, and offend God no more, for he is already much offended. Our Lady foretells that she will give a sign in October 
that will make people believe that she is appearing. On August the 13th, the children were wrong, wrongly taken by the administrator in an attempt to force them to confess that all they are saying is a lie. They are threatened that if they do not confess they are lying, they will be thrown into boiling oil. This actually happened, and the children would not change their account. There is a humorous scene in the film when Uncle Hugo gets the men in prison to pray the rosary with the children. The scene shows the power of the rosary transforming lives. Our Lady promised a miracle. The official ends up letting the children go, believing that no miracle will happen. The scene of October 13th is accurate. It was pouring rain, and over 70,000 people gathered in the Kovada area. The priest of Fatima was actually not at the miracle, but praying at the parish church. Our Lady told the children the war would, would soon end. Do not fear, she said. In the end, my Immaculate Heart will triumph. She revealed herself to the children as, I am the Lady of the Rosary. The miracle is witnessed with the sun spinning in various colors and then appearing to plunge to the earth at the same time this is happening, there are numerous miracles of healings. The miracle of the sun was witnessed by over 70,000 people. When it was finished, the earth was dry as well as the people's clothes and this is also shown in the movie. This miracle actually had several other features that were not depicted in the film. There was a miracle of rose petals, and the children actually saw Our Lady as Our Lady of Mount Carmel, and St. Joseph appeared, holding the child Jesus, blessing the world. Our Lady said that the miracle would have been even greater had not the children been arrested and put in jail. In this moment, Uncle Hugo has a transformation of faith, and he says, Only the fool says, There is no God. One of my favorite scenes is at the end of the movie, and it, and it is actual footage from the Shrine of Fatima, where Our Lady appeared. The field, which was once, a, once for sheep, is now transformed into a magnificent shrine with thousands of people gathered to honor the Queen of Peace. The statue shown is the actual statue kept at the Shrine in Fatima. There is shown the beautiful tradition of, faith, of the faithful greeting Our Lady, as in the time of the apparitions, by waving the white linens. The Miracle of Our Lady of Fatima is a movie that will inspire you in your faith and devotion to our Blessed Mother, whom Jesus has sent to earth to bring us back to Him and to love Him with the heart of His Mother. The message of Fatima is one of conversion, faith, and hope, and above all, to be a child of Mary as Jesus was a child of Mary. Our Lady revealed her name to the children as, a, as I am the Lady of the Holy Rosary. She cho told the children to have the people pray the rosary for the end of the war because only she, Our Lady of the Rosary, could bring an end to it. May we turn to her in this time of, of difficulty or any other time in our life when we are faced with trials with confidence in our Mother's intercession through the Holy Rosary. In conclusion, I wanted just to add that Francesco died April 4th, 1919 at the age of 10 in Fatima. Jacinta died February 20th, 1920, and she was nine when she died at Lisbon, Portugal. When Jacinta's body was exhumed 15 years later, it was found to be incorrupt. The two children, Francesco and Jacinta, were beatified May 13, 2000, at the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary in Fatima by Pope St. John Paul II. They were canonized saints May 13, 2017, at the Basilica of Our Lady of the Rosary in Fatima by Pope Francis. Sister Lucia died on February 13, 2005, at the Carmelite Convent in Quiomba, Portugal, at the age of 97. When she died, Portugal declared a national day of mourning. St. Francesco and St. Jacinta and the servant of God Lucia are all buried at the Basilica of Our Lady the Rosary in Fatima. The movie can be rented on various streaming services, included, including YouTube for $2.99. It is also available for purchase on various, on various uh, servers for about $14 by DVD. 
I hope that you will enjoy this movie on Our Lady of Fatima and that we will all remember that Mary is truly our mother, wanting to be our path that will lead us to God and that she will never forsake us. God bless you all.